थैंक यू डॉक्टर एम थम्बी दुरे जी मान्य श्री महेश जेठमलानी जी मान्य श्री महेश जेठमलानी जी थ्री मिनट्स सर दिस बिल इज अ फॉर्मल बिल इट्स बेसिकली अ केस ऑफ लीगल हाउस क्लीनिंग सर आर लीगल गोडाउन हैड बिकम ओवरफुल विथ लॉज विच आर ऑब्सरीट some of which were pointed out by the previous speakers and the law minister in particular so sir there was a need for some legal house cleaning particularly sir since the previous government had not undertaken this task and left many obsolete laws so the work of this government ever since 2014 has been in that direction and of course it's under unlike empty slogans like garibi hatao it's towards the policy of nyuntam sarkar adhiktam shasan so it's a exercise in that direction and said exercise essentially in as i said cleaning our legal go downs now so there are three categories as i said it's a very short bill but there are three categories and from those categories which are set out in three different schedules one will be able to discern what are the nature of the laws that are being got rid of now so so in schedule 1 they are laws which are basically either obsolete they are being repealed altogether uh, as the honorable law minister pointed out for instance a law which has been overtaken by technological advancement so the uh, telegraph wires unlawful possession act this is now almost obsolete nobody uses it anymore we are in the age of spectrum now so sir this law is obsolete and many of them are, are colonial laws they date from 1850 1855 and so on so they have been removed from the statute book so then there are laws which are amendment laws if you see half half of the first schedule are what are called amendment laws now those are amendments to existing statutes these are amending acts and these amendments have now been incorporated into the parent act so they have become completely useless now they are of no purpose being on the statute books they only serve overburden our legal go downs and our statute books so the second schedule if you see is almost entirely of appropriation bills for a particular year so you have an appropriation bill for 2013 14 15 16 now these have time limits they are only for that year they have outlived their time purpose now their shelf life is over so these also have to be un they unnecessarily still on the statute books and they have to go so this is the second category and the last category is a single case sir if it was a case of an amendment of an amendment then sir it would be or, or a serious amendment to any act then sir it would be discussed it would be debated in both houses but this is a formal amendment one word has been dropped in a particular statute which is the factoring regulation act so there is an amendment act of very minor consequence is more a grammatical change and so so that is why the third schedule is there which consists of an amendment to only one act which as i said is the factoring regulation act so 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 as i said the policy of minimum government maximum governance this is an act to further that object it is an act to further the absence of harassment to ordinary citizens particularly the poor and to enhance the ease of living and ease of doing business for businessmen and such categories sir i wholeheartedly welcome this bill it's a necessary bill formal though it is at least sir it's an exercise in much needed legal housekeeping i thank you for giving me permission to speak the law minister and my parties thank you sir dhanyawad manni mahesh jatmulani ji manni sir raghav chadda ji